Hey, this is DeAndre Gatlin from Gatlin's Production Recording Studios. Um, I'm here today um, to show you how to take the MPCX out into your favorite DAW DAW, which is Pro Tools, Logic, or any other DAW you have. And maybe you want to run your outputs out into your favorite interface. So. Um, I'm not, I don't want to make the video too long, so without further ado, I'm just going to get started. I'm going to start from scratch. Uh, I'm going to load this never call up. Uh, I'm going to load that one up, never call. And then I think I like the other one. I can't think of the name of it. I think it's Fallen Enemy. I like that one too. Hold on. Uh, where, where is that? Uh, Hip Hop. Fallen Enemy. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Right there. I'm just going to use two kicks for now because it, it might be getting crazy. Uh, I'm going to set my tempo to, I guess, 102. I don't know. Let's see. Let's see what we got. Uh, I'm going to do that because I want four bars. Okay, let's go. So we got ah uh, like that. Okay, let's get started with the beat. Let's go. I don't like that for a drum beat. Let's see. Let's let's take it here. That's cool. Oh, I like that. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna do it over again. Well, it's just a tutorial anyway. Okay, I'll take it. Um, I'm gonna label this as drums. Those are my drums. Um, and also, just for my little my piano. Come on, piano. And let's get another one going on. I mean, I just use a sub or something. Well, that's nice. I'll put 16 levels on you. Let's try something cool. Let's see. I'm just, I'm just going to shoot the moon and go for it. Let's see. Uh-oh. I guess I won't. What happened? There you go. Let's go. Let's go for it. So I'm gonna name that um, uh, sub base. Okay, now there's been a lot of confusion on YouTube how to um, route these tracks out into your favorite DAW uh, hardware. Um, 
I heard of some people, even I tempted, I did a video on it. You know, it was like cool, but I'm like, you know, this would kill anybody's creativity at all. It's copying a program tracks. Oh, I'm sorry, I didn't mean to do that. Let's put that back. <laughs> it's copying the program tracks over and over. As a matter of fact, let's say this. Uh, I'm going to say this. Uh, save this as uh, I'm on my desktop, new folder, and then I'm going to name this. Um, I'm just going to name it Drum um, Output. I'm going to drum output and then I'm going to do R U M drum output again to finalize the save. Okay, so uh, what I did was I made a folder on my desktop, and if I go to my desktop right here, you will see I should have a little folder called drum output, and that'll be this session right here I just made. Okay. Um, now, a lot of people had this misconception about all this, um, that exposure tracks and stuff like that. No, you don't have to expose your tracks. You can explode your tracks when you want to bounce out and put it into a folder on your desktop and then launch it up into Pro Tools and there. You use to explode tracks in your song, whatever. But in this case, I'm going to use the MPCX as a plugin on Pro Tools. And I'm not going to do all that um, copying a program over. Okay? We're going to go to the feature over here. Okay? We're going to use the pad mixer. Okay? We're going to use the pad mixer. Mixer, <laughs> okay. I'm going. To, I'm just going to do some drums. Okay, we got our song rocking here. Okay, so I can keep track at this because I'm new. To, I'm new here too. I mean, if anybody have any comments and any other suggestions, please, please feel free to um, throw some comments down at me and let me know. When I'm falling short that too, because I wanted to learn as well. Uh, but I'm gonna go to my pad mixer right here, and then I'm gonna go to this route function right here, and then in this route function, you can see if, if I hit my 808, I'm gonna take the sub off and what and where I'm at right here. Okay, um, well, my drums, that's my kick, that's my snare, hi, and whatever. I'm not going to run no separate, I'm not going to copy program, 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 and then that's just too crazy. Let's route this out, guys. Let's take the kick. We're going to go down the road. So I'm gonna go. We won't get all crazy. Now go to the kick. I'm going to double tap on the program. No, no, no. As a matter of fact, you have the subs come down here, and you can scroll down here. You see your outputs right there. Okay? In this case, I'm going to label this three and four, okay? You know, and I'm going to put it right there. You see three and four right there. Notice the sound is gone. It disappeared because now it's it's going to be sent out. It's being ready for it to be used inside your uh, DAW. Now, also, you can go to programs, and you can just dial it in. So that's my snare, and I'm going to use right here five and six. Five and six. And then on my hi-hat, I'm going to use 78 stereo. And then on my uh, little rolling thing or whatever, I'm going to use 9 and 10. Okay, and what else I got up here? I don't even know. Okay, whatever that is right here, um, that's the kick, the solid kick. And I'm going to go 11 and 12. So that's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now that's on that program. Now, let's just jump out of here. I'm shot now. I'm shooting the moon on this because I haven't tested anything. You know, this is just like a, I'm a, almost my common sense, really, honestly, because only because I'm a mixing and mastering engineer. And I know good and well 
Akai did not make this thing. We did copying programs, copying programs, copying programs. I can't believe it. So I, I, I dug into this myself, and it took me like almost about uh, I got a minute or so. I was like, huh, really? Okay. Now let's go to um, the piano. So we get here, we get one, two, three, four. Now you got a choice. You can have more, all of them or whatever. I'm going to pad me so again. Right here. Now, if you want this all on the same channel, we could put them on the same channel. If not, but for kicks and giggles, let's just go um, assign them into, I think, what, 11 and 12? No, 13 and 14. I'm assigning all of them to um, 13 and 14. Hold on. Now, uh oh, what did I think that? Think, think, it. Where is it at? Uh, here we go, right there. I'll, I'll sign that one up to 13 and 14, too. I keep them all together just for the tutorial. But if you want to explode them out on different tracks, you can. Okay, this is just, I don't want to get too long winded. Okay. Now let me go back and check on my drums to see why I stopped that. Um, 11, 12, 13, and 14. So they'll have one, two, three, four, five here. And, and then um, I'm gonna go to my piano, which is that. Now, let's find that sub. Where's that sub at? Cause you know, I used the 16 levels. Okay, so I'm new at this now, okay? We're going to find out where that sub going to. Okay, hold on. Oh. Okay. Okay, so I use the 16 levels. Uh oh, wait, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. Um, now that might be a problem. <laughs> okay, because I had that bass. Here and then, okay, that's the sub. Okay, let's go to your channel mixer. And where are you? Right there. That's the sub right there. And I'm going to assign that to um, 15 and 16. Now, as I play the track, you shouldn't hear anything at all. And there we go. Now, my last track is 15 and 16. Um, is I'm correct? Right. My last track is 15 and 16. So therefore, I know how many tracks I want to make inside of Pro Tools now. So let's just save this. And we're going to close this out. And I'll make a double save on the computer. Now let's go on over to Pro Tools. And what I'm going to do is... Um, I don't have anything. What's the tempo? The tempo is 104. Okay, tempo 104. I'm gonna need, I probably need to write that down. My tempo is 104 here. Okay, and let's quit out of the MPCX uh, software. Now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our Pro Tools session here, and let's upload to Pro Tools. Give it a minute here. And let's make a new session. I'm gonna go like a new location. Wait, hold on, wait, wait, wait. Yeah, correct. I'm gonna create a new, um, I'm gonna put it on my desktop too as well. And I'm gonna put it in side of the drum output folder. I might as well just keep everything together. No, I just, I won't keep everything together. I'll, I'll rename it, um, Drum output put Pro Tools. That's what I'm gonna name it, and 
I open my file up and then I call it drums, the drum output uh, Pro Tools. Okay, demo test or whatever. That's what I'm gonna do. Cause I, I'm gonna make sure my 44.1 is okay. And then because I create the drum session in 44.1. Okay, so now I'm a shift control in and I'm bringing my Pro Tools um, track and I'm gonna go look for a MIDI instrument. And then I'm gonna go again, I shift control in and I got audio tracks, so I said, um, for 10 tracks, okay? Here we go. That's 10 tracks. Now, um, on the, on the instrument, I'm going to label this MPC X, and then I'm going to bust out one and two. You're going to need to bust out one and two, so I'm going to bust out one and two. And then what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hold my, um, I think it's uh, option and command. And then I'm going to go get my, oh, no, 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 no. It doesn't show. I, I got to put my MPC instrument up there first. Uh, make it not bubble. Okay, so I might as well launch my song uh, while I'm in here. A drum output. And that's ready to um, swing. Okay. Now, uh, now I'm gonna go to my audio tracks right here, and I'm gonna say option and command, option and command, alt options and command on a uh, Mac, and I'm gonna plugins, and then I'm gonna hit that MPC three. It should flat all the way down for you, okay? And I have more than enough tracks. I stopped at 15 and 16. These tracks right here, I don't even need. So I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those tracks right now. Okay, because I, I, I only went up to 15 to 16. Now, uh, since I labeled them already, uh, I forgot what I labeled them. Um, but I can see it in my Pro Tools. It should be. I'm just going to save that uh, for a section. And uh, my tracks are not colored worth a dime. I don't know what's going on here. Okay, so um, I, I usually color my uh, audio tracks. Okay, so let's <clears throat> play it and see what we got here. Okay, and I put in the monitor. Oh yeah, my playback. I'm gonna gotta check my playback because I'm doing some old crazy stuff. Here we go. Should be cool. Okay, so let's play this back and see what happens. <laughs> Okay, in the tempo, I believe it was uh, 104, 104 tempo. That's 105, boy. 104, 104 tempo. And it should follow as so. There we are. Right there, running hot. That 808 is running hot, and we do not want to record that in there like that. So let's figure a way out to bring those instruments down. Okay, so what I'm gonna do with the drums is I'm gonna go into my pad mixer, and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find what I'm gonna do. drums are bumping that. And I'm going to cut everything down like about a good 5 dB and um, just to give it um, some headroom, okay? So uh, bear with me as I cut this down inside of my um, MPCX. I'm going to play the track. Let's see. Right here. That's one, two, three, four, five. Five. I'm going to cut everybody down about five. You know, I'm just take it down to just a little touch. We don't want all that distortion going into the, to the track there. And um, there, and uh, I think it was this one too. I'm not sure. I'm clear to say.
also down to seven. But now I'm going to clear out of here and I should see no red distortion at all. I want a lot of headroom, so I'm not feeling like, I don't want anything to reach uh, too much above this little waveform right there. Do my air at. Let's, let's play again. Oh. Is that okay? That bass is just like rolling. There it is, right there. And it's all the way down. And so 16 levels of undo. Oh, I see what's going on. It's all of them. Okay, so hmm. What I'm gonna do is. Undo that. I'm gonna do that, and I'm gonna undo that. Why? Cause it's all of them. So what I'm gonna do is this. I'm gonna keep it neutral. I'm gonna, I'm gonna keep it to where I left it at. Okay. And let's redo that one. Okay. What's going on here? Don't want to play. Oh. Okay, much better. much better okay the kick is not hitting uh, I'm wanting some headroom there now all we got to do now guys is just go um, uh -oh. um option record and everything is lit and all we got to do is just bounce that bad boy down here we go like and subscribe and share and let me hear your comments down there and what you think about this video okay so um, like I said I did on the spare of the moment and I tried to be um, as thorough as I could and this is my first MPCX tutorial so I, I really don't know how I did <laughs> so um, I can't wait to watch it myself all right, I'll talk to you guys later, and I will edit it up. Um, I'll probably do something goofy with the editing or whatever. Okay, love you guys. Peace. One.